The, uh, the first thing I remember is like, like, who is Pearl Harbor? You know, I mean, I had no idea what, what uh, Pearl Harbor was. But uh, I, at the time, I was, uh, had a newspaper route, Tampa Tribune. And uh, so they hustled us down to, the, to pick up uh, extras that had been printed. And so we went around trying to sell newspapers uh, about the event. That, uh, of course, you know, the whole thing didn't sink in for a while, just what was going on, except that we knew it was a humongous thing, so uh, we had to adjust to it. You know, we were ignorant, and uh, uh, we hadn't, it came out of left field for me. I didn't, you know, I wasn't aware. Of course, now I know of, of, of the things that were occurring. Uh, Behind this, as far as I know, knew anyway, behind the scenes. But uh, uh, it was, it was, uh, you know, we got to go out and 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 take care of those guys if they think they can do that to us. That's the sort of reaction I think that most of us had. Or they better look out, you know, that sort of thing. And I don't think that uh, I, I certainly didn't have, and nobody else did that I know of had any notion that we would do anything but but uh, roll right over them. And, uh, just my, and if I had known how ill-prepared we were, I wouldn't have been so, so uh, glib about it. Because, uh, um, you know, we, we had absolutely uh, no equipment and nothing to fight a war with. And, and uh, I, of course, I didn't know that at the time. No, we were gonna we we're gonna take care of business, and I was very anxious to get into into uh, uh, service, and uh, and do what I what I could do. After that, I, I we finished going went ahead and finished high school, and uh, went off to college, where I, uh, I uh, knew that I would be going into service. That's one thing that I did know. There we wasn't wasn't any question about it that I would be going off into the service. And I wanted to get in as much school as I could prior to that, so I went off to University of Florida and started the summer school. Uh, of course, we were involved in ROTC in field artillery, where they had us ride horses, uh, <laughs> which I, I couldn't do very well. <clears throat> One of the frightening, most frightening things that happened to me during the war, I guess, was trying to ride those horses when they put us in saddles without stirrups, and then those horses would want to go back to the barn, and, and there would be a stampede, and there we would be in the middle of a bunch of, of horses rushing back to the barn, and we were riding in without uh, without uh, stirrups, and uh, I was no horseman. So that was one of my first adventures in the military. It was horse-drawn horse-drawn artillery, and, and that gives you an idea of how ill-prepared we were. Uh, of course, not only in ROTC, but the, but the uh, uh, Army in itself was that ill-prepared. You know, horse, what kind of war are you going to be able to fight when you're, when you're trying to pull the, the, uh, the uh, guns around by, by, with horses? But uh, we, it was a, a horse-drawn artillery. Obviously, there, there were some people who who made every effort to avoid uh, service. And uh, I can think of a few. And I had very bad uh, feelings about people like that. And it, I think I, that was generally the attitude. You served, or, you, or if you didn't want to serve, you, you were shir shirking your duty. And uh, that was, of course, not an attitude that's necessarily fair, but seen in retrospect, but basically I think that was a, a, an attitude that I shared with most people. There was no question in my mind that I was going to be go in, and I think that's basically most of the people that I knew were, were going to do. There, there, there may have been others, but that was my attitude.